If you're a newbie slapper and you're not sure what to focus on, by the end of this video, you're going to have three things that you should know as a beginning slapper. I'm Natasha Watley, two-time Olympian, and I help softball athletes become game changers. Just learning how to slap hit and you don't know where to begin, make sure you stay to the end so that you can get my free three-part mini video series on the slapping basics. When I first learned to slap, I wanted to master all of the things right away from hard slap, soft slap, hitting away, drag bunting, but I wish I had just these three simple areas to focus on and to master. One of the first things that you should know as a beginning slapper are the objectives to slapping. Why are you slapping? So the main reason why we want to slap is we want to make sure that we're putting pressure on defense, that we are consistently putting the ball in play, giving ourselves a chance to get on base. We want to be able to move runners. We want to be feisty. It's more than just getting hits, but it's also knowing that there's a whole purpose. It's, it's we want to put pressure on the defense. We want to create havoc and we want to give our team a little bit of momentum. So for the slapper objectives, I want to hear which objective resonates with you. Leave that in the comments right now. The second thing you should know as a beginning slapper are the core basics. You need to know footwork, you need to know timing, and you need to know how your hands work. Those are our core basics. We don't want to worry about all the glitz and glamour of becoming a slap hitter of a hard slap, a soft slap, a chop, drag bunting. We don't want to worry about all that. We just want to know the core fundamentals of how our footwork should be, how our timing should be, when we should start, and how our hand should look. So I go more in depth on this on my free mini video training. So make sure you stay tuned to the end where I cover footwork, timing, and hands. The third thing that you should know as a beginning slapper is the basic reading of the defense. Let's keep it simple. If they're playing far back, we're going to do something soft, we're going to bunt. If they're playing in our faces, we want to do something that we hit it past them. So we want we don't want to overcomplicate things when we're a beginning slapper. It's just reading basic defense. If they're playing me deep, doing something soft. If they're paying me close, doing something a little bit hard. So now you know exactly what you should be focusing on if you are a beginning slapper. Now if we want to go a step further, we want to go a little bit more in depth on the slap basics, I would love for you to go and grab my free three-part video series that goes in depth on footwork, timing, and hands. So make sure you click the link down below. Also, if you want to join a community of softball parents, players, and coaches where we can continue this conversation on slap hitting, I have a secret society, which is a free Facebook group where we share tips, drills, motivation, all to help the level of our softball slappers. So I want you to go check it out and I'll see you there. This Tasha tip is brought to you by Dee Marini. The new Dee Marini prism is a beauty, literally. Like the way that it looks visually, how can you not succeed at the plate? So make sure you check out the new prism from Dee Marini. For the best softball slap hitting tips, drills, motivation, make sure you subscribe to my page so that you can get my new videos when I drop them every Tuesday. If you like this video, please let me know by going down, liking this video, sharing it with someone that you think that will help, and also make sure you comment so that I know how you felt about this video. Make sure you subscribe so that you can get all of the videos that I drop every single week. See you next time.